El Día de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a traditional Mexican holiday that honors and celebrates beloved ancestors, friends, and family members that have passed away. It is a spiritual time when the curtain is lifted between the realms of the living and the dead. It is believed that during this special occasion, the souls return to earth to commune with the living where they are united together again, if only for a day. It's universal that all of us have someone that we want to remember that we love. And then my mother would say that the worst death of all, the most dreaded death of all, is when we're forgotten. The Day of the Dead blends ancient Zapotec, Aztec, Mayan, and Nahuatl traditions of ancestor worship with the Catholic Holy Days of All Hallows Eve. Scholars have traced the origins of the holiday back thousands of years to an ancient Aztec festival honoring the goddess Tecasicuatl, or Lady of the Dead. It is believed that she was sacrificed as an infant and according to Aztec mythology, became the queen of the underworld, known as Mictlán. Mictlán was the final destination after death, the ninth and lowest level of the underworld. The Day of the Dead is actually celebrated over two days. The souls of the deceased children, or angelitos, are set to return on November 1st, All Saints Day, and adults on November 2nd, All Souls Day. To me, death is um, sort of the end of pain and very happy. So I use very bright, happy colors. And I thought, if, if the angel of death looks like that, it's not so scary. It's, <laughs> yeah, everyone here has passed away for the most part. Um, and I recently lost a child, so it was, that was really hard. But to, to my surprise, the altar, putting together the altar, especially honoring the baby, was very cathartic. I cried when I did it, and, and now that I see it and it's so beautiful, it actually helped a lot. Traditionally, families spent the day building altars in their home or at the cemetery. The altars are an invitation for the deceased to return and be honored. By Aztec tradition, the altars have four levels that represent the four seasons, four directions of the earth, four stages of life, and the four elements. The altars are adorned with bright orange marigold flowers that are believed to guide the souls to the altar. Other adornments include a bread made to nourish the dead, known as pan de muerto, incense, pictures of the deceased, and skeleton figurines known as calacas that depict what the person enjoyed while living. I think it shows them that there's, there's, it's not such a bleak thing. I mean, maybe there's complete happiness on the other side, you know? You'd like to think that you're sending, sending your loved ones off to a better place. I think this shows that it, it can be a celebration. It doesn't have to be something, you know, sure, you're going to miss your loved ones, but you know that they're heading off to somewhere better. Party. Ce celebrate it. Although Dia de los Muertos is celebrated near Halloween, the two holidays are worlds apart. Halloween is traditionally a ghoulish-inspired and candy-driven occasion. Dia de los Muertos is a joyous time spent with relatives, both living and dead. Oh, for me, it's just, it's, re it's really about remembering my ancestors and uh, just taking the time to, to, to acknowledge the fact that if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. So that's, that's what it is for me. The influence of artist Jose Guadalupe Posada can be seen in many of the skulls and skeletons artwork at Dia de los Muertos festivities. Posada was a 19th century Mexican engraver and illustrator whose artwork depicts skeletons as a satire of the upper classes. One of his most famous drawings depict a rich female aristocrat known as La Catrina that poked fun at how fragile life was, even for the rich. 
Posada was one of the first artists to use the Day of the Dead as a social and political statement. Although Dia de los Muertos is traditionally a Mexican holiday, it is now practiced in New Zealand, the Philippines, Brazil, and the United States. In the U.S., Dia de los Muertos festivals also include altars used for political and social expression. Nacional. Y me involucré mucho en lo que es el problema de las mujeres en Juárez, de que en los últimos 10, 12 años han muerto cientos de mujeres y el gobierno simplemente dice un poco más de 100, un poco más de 100, pero siempre son las mismas 100. Pero el problema no es cuántas sean, sino por qué. Como dice la pregunta, ¿por qué? Why they have to die? Why they have to be raped? Why they have to be kidnapped? Why? Why? ¿Y quién está haciendo esto? Who's doing this? ¿Y qué está haciendo el gobierno? During the Day of the Dead, death is mocked and laughed at with participants painting their faces as skulls, known as calaveras. Death is not perceived as a frightful end of life, but rather a transition into the next world. El Día de los Muertos also signals the arrival of the monarch butterflies. Many of the mariposas have come from as far away as Canada in search of warmer weather. And, um, and it was said that their soul came back as a butterfly or a hummingbird. And I always wonder, I wonder if that's how the people explain the monarchs that gather in Mexico you know, every year for millenniums. Um, it could be. It's very interesting.